Welcome to the Great Exodus series. God's plan of rescue for you. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael and I am the founder of Triple Greece at the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today we will talk about winning of souls. Do not stay in the beast system of this world and work for money, but change to God's economy. What is God's economy? God's economy is about winning souls. Not working for money, but winning souls. And you must change from the world and Babylon to God's economy. Because winning of souls is a great harvest, and this is our destiny and purpose. Read Daniel 12.3, my beloved verse that I always quote, because there many will be brought to righteousness, and they who will do that will shine as the stars in heaven. This is your reward. So if you change to God's economy, then you can be truly rich and wealthy. But you cannot be rich and wealthy in the beast system where you work for money. You will always be a slave and you will always be under bondage. And the enemy will have a great hold on you. Now, many people are telling you this. Many people are telling you, oh, you have to win souls. You have to go out into the nations. You have to do all what the apostles did. You have to change from the world into God's economy. You have to bring in the harvest. All this is told to you over many, many, many years. But none of these people that told you this had a solution for you. How should you do this? How can you go into the nations? Where is the structure? How can you just go out of the world and enter the nation and win souls? Definitely not by knocking at the doors and telling them, if you not uh, change to Christianity, you will go to hell. Or shouting in the streets, until you were arrested. And then you say, oh, I'm a, as a Christian were arrested. Yeah, you were arrested because you made a noise. Is it not written in the Bible that this person that will come will not shout in, on, in the streets, but he will be quiet because he will be an example, not a shouter, not a knocker at doors, not a forcer. Now, what can we do now? What is the structure? We here at Triple Grace and at the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation, we have built a solution for you, a structure for you, how you can bring in the great harvest, how you can win souls in the nations. And the solution that we have for you are the societies of the rose, the assemblies of love and righteousness. Because in these assemblies, you will shine forth your light and you will be an example to the nations and all people will see. Every day you will do sacrifices of love, lift up the needy, look for the nameless and faceless, help all the people in the world, and then the societies will recognize you. Your neighborhood will recognize you. You see, this person has shifted. He really and truly has shifted from the beast system into God's economy. And he is there now to win souls. Now you can still ask me, but how, okay, even if we go and help needy every day, how do we win souls? Without an assembly of righteousness, without a society of the rose, it is of course difficult and it will only remain small. But if you build and establish a society of the rose in your neighborhood and you do this daily sacrifice of love, you can always Ask the person that you are helping to join you. And many will come and join you, not only because they have need, but also they are thirsty for the word of the Lord. And they are thirsty for the love of the Father. So you will bring many, many people to righteousness that will join you. And when you are more than 50 people, as you know already, then you establish a second society of the rose, then a third and a fourth. 
Now let me give you a small calculation. If one person can save 100 people, and a society of the rose may be a thousand, then how many can 1,000 societies of the rose in the nation bring to righteousness? One million new people, one million souls taken from the enemy into the heavenly kingdom, onto the path to Mount Zion. Think about this. There is no limit. Because once you start the Society of the Rose, it will grow and grow and grow all over the world. And the light will be stronger and stronger and stronger and it will reach the darkest corners. It will go to places where 97% still follow false gods and idols, like what we do with our mission to Cambodia. By the way, we need some support for that. So please come forward and show your heart of love and kindness. Thank you for that. Now, if you establish this Society of the Rose and work together with other true believers and do this work of the Lord every day, then you will gather in the people. And now with the Society of the Rose, you have a structure. You have a structure where you can call the people in and where they can grow more and more. Because the Assemblies of Righteousness, the Societies of the Rose, are not churches. You are not coming only together once a week and then you go back into the world. No, you will meet every day. You take communion, love meals, support one another. Go out into the world and show your face and the love of the Father to the nations. Now you have a structure, a vehicle that you can use. Quasi in this way you build your own, you build your own ministry. Every society of the rose is an own ministry of two elders that they have created. And when we have thousand or ten thousand or twenty thousand societies of the rose, we have a great harvesting powers. These are like great harvesting machines that are going through the nations. Before you had no way to make it. This was only talk. Oh, come and do this one. Yeah, then you ask yourself, how shall we do this? But now, now the Lord has given you structures. Now the Lord has given you a way how to do it. So come together in societies of the rose. Establish them in your neighborhood. Show the love of the Father to all people, so that all people will see that you have come out of the world and out of Babylon, out of the beast system of working for money, into God's economy, where you are harvesting souls, winning souls for the Father and for Christ. And your reward will be that at the sixth seal, when we reach Mount Zion, when the angel will have collected us from the four corners of the earth and brought us to the base of Mount Zion, there you will be raptured into paradise or sealed as one of the 144,000. So please walk with me that path win souls, be part of God's economy, and forsake the beast system. Come out of the world and Babylon. Come out of working for money and come together to advance the kingdom, to bring the kingdom onto earth, to advance it to a new level. You can do it. And I know that you will come together in love, unity, and support on the new but old altar. Join me, go forth on that path. It is for the glory of the Father and for his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. You are called to be a harvest worker. You are called to bring as many people to righteousness as possible, so that later you will shine as the stars in heaven. Thank you that you are listening to this message. Please join God's economy. Go to our website, Triple Grace, read about the article, The Great Harvest, and be part of it. Tell all your friends about it. Read the articles. Watch the videos. All of our videos that are up. Watch especially the video about the societies of the rose. Send me the question that you have to triplegrace55 at gmail.com and be part of the great exodus, the movement to Mount Zion, the holy mountain that is not carved by human hands. 
so that you can be raptured into paradise when we will reach it. Thank you for walking with me. Thank you to be here with me every day. May God bless you and your family abundantly. And I will see you again tomorrow for the next video. Start win souls right now. Become the harvest worker of the Lord. I love you dearly. My name is Michael. And I will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Maranatha.